beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day in Indie Week. We are in the middle of Indie Week and today we are going to talk about We Makeup. I have talked about We Makeup before but I thought I'd do like a brand overview because I feel like We Makeup is the brand that everyone's sleeping on. If you're interested in makeup, if you're interested in fashion, indie makeup, colorful makeup, this is the place to be. I love all of those things so if you just want to inject some more color in your timeline I'd love to see you subscribe. I do upload several videos a week and this week it's once every day. I am so excited to be talking about Wee Makeup, you have no idea. I have been talking about Wee Makeup for quite some time. I think Wee Makeup has been around for like a year and a half. I'm pretty sure that they came out first with their eyeshadows in fall of 2018. I did a video then. I bought, let me show you here, I bought two of the nine pan palettes. I have popped all of the shadows out now because, um, because I have them all in a palette here because I'm going to show you all of them. I bought the two palettes myself. I did a video or two on them. I'm not sure, but I did a video on them. And after that, I actually was added to the We Makeup uh, PR list. So I have gotten uh, a lot of these things in PR after the eyeshadows. All of the eyeshadows that I'm going to show you here, I have bought myself except three. Because they did launch a little... It's, it's a, a cute cutie pie. <laughs> cutie pie like I okay come on it is cute it is a three well uh, eyeshadow so it's basically if you want to take some uh, shadows on the go all the palettes that they have are like you see little you can poke them out they have holes on the back so those shadows I got three of them as PR the rest of the shadows I bought myself and all of the other things that I'm going to show you I have gotten as PR but this video is not sponsored they do not know that I'm making this video I just really wanted to showcase this brand because I feel like it's a brand that a lot of people are sleeping on. This is an Italian-based indie brand. The price range is pretty like, I would say mid-ranged, slightly more affordable when it comes to like European standards. I don't, I'm not gonna say like all the prices in this video because it is like, of course, European Euro prices, but you can build your own palette on their site. And if you build a palette like this, a nine pen palette, it has to have a mirror as well. It will cost you about $20, $21, $22 like that. And you can pick your own shades. How they come? Oh, I wanted to show you because I did buy some more shadows. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Okay, they come like this in a little sleeve. So they are little square eyeshadows. Let's talk about the eyeshadows first. And they come in a little sleeve. So this is what the shadows look like. These are the shadows that I have from We Makeup. I'm going to swatch all of these for you in a bit. And then they come in a little sleeve like this. And it says the shadow name and it's like a little hmm, like sticker thing and then you just pull the shadow out and you poke them into the palette yourself in whatever order you want to and then you can rearrange them any way you want. We'll say the biggest flaw, the like I would say maybe the only flaw with this line is that the back of the shadows doesn't have the name of the shadows. I don't know if you can see here, but I wrote the name myself here because that number you see, that is not the name of the shadow. So I wrote 144 because that is the name of this shadow. It is unfortunate that the shadows from We Makeup don't have like special names. Uh, they have like numbers, but I mean, it's the same as um, Makeup Forever. They just have numbers and that's just the way they are. They do have a couple of different formulas. Let's go through the different formulas, shall we? So the formulas they have are mattes, shimmers, what they call 3D metals, which are basically metallics, and then they have duochromes. I will say though that, for example, this one that is a 3D metal, it's 309. It is a white to a green duochrome. For me, this is a duochrome, but I understand that they, when they say duochrome, they mean more like shifting from two different colors, not from a white to a green. Like this, for example, is a duochrome. This is number 400. This is a purple to blue duochrome. And then the normal shimmers. And like I told you, the 3D metals, this is also a 3D metal. It is like just a straight up, very turquoise shimmer, like metallic with no duochrome. Then we have the shimmers. This one is a shimmer, for example. This is number 207. It is just a like a straight up shimmer, not a metallic. This is a gunmetal like gray. And then they have the mattes and they have the mattes divided into nudes and colorfuls. So for example, the nudes is this one, for example. Ooh, let me show you. The 108, it's just a really nice mustardy mid-tone brown, very mustardy. And then for example, the colors would be like this one, 144, which is a nice bright, light light apple green so let's go in because i swatched these based on different color families so let's talk about the eyeshadows first i have swatched them based on yellows greens like more 
berry pinks and then neutrals and then we have blue turquoises and some purples so let's just go into the swatches and i will let you know uh, the names as we go okay let's go through all of the colors and afterwards i'm also going to show you what i'm wearing on my eyes today so let's start with the yellow ones this is 115 147 117 and 108 I will, of course, obviously put the names of all of these, these down below in the order that I mentioned them as well, just so you know which ones I'm actually talking about. Now let's get into the greens. The greens are 309, 144, 310 and 142. Now we're going into the berries and the pinks. The first one is 300, 113, 112, 128, 130, and 131. Now we're getting into the nudes, and I don't know why I have so many nudes, but here we are. This is number 100, 203, 401, 207, 404, 121, and 125. Now we're going into the more turquoisey blues. It's 306, 136, 137, 307 and 140. And last but not least, we're getting into the purples. This is 134, 133, 400 and 308. So those are all the colors that I have. These are not all the colors they have. They have more colors. And I will say that I probably have most of the colorful shades. Um, maybe the ones that I didn't get for myself are mostly neutrals. They did have some pre-made palettes before, but right now I think it's only the option to create your own palette or like buying them as singles. And you can create a three pan palette like this one. You can create a nine pan palette like this one. And then I think they have a bigger palette as well. I don't know how big that is, but it's significantly larger than the nine pan. I just have chosen not to get something like that, but you can order something uh, like that as well if you want to and fill it with shadows. I do think you save some money if you create your own palette. I do hope that We Makeup comes out with more shadows though, and I really hope that they will start putting names on the back of the um, shadows because it's really hard if you order some shadows from We Makeup and you want to buy some new ones and it's like, how do I know that I'm not getting duplicates? So I really, really hope that they will do that in the future. The next item I want to talk about is something that I'm actually having on, and that is the mascara. This one is the more mascara. I did make an order for We Makeup just like last week, and I got some of the new shadows that you see here. And this mascara I have on my eyes today. Oh, I want to talk about the eyeshadows as well. Well, we'll do the mascara first. This is the mascara I have on my eyes today. I don't have any lashes. I wanted to show you how it looks like. I did mention this mascara is one of my yearly favorites of 2019. I wanted to buy a new one when I made the order but it was sold out but it's restock now so mm, I'm really really interested to get another one of these I actually think that this is one of the two only mascaras that I can see myself using without false lashes because I have a lot of lid space as you can see but I really feel like this lengthens and curls and also gives some like volume to my lashes so this is like an all-in-one it has a really nice small rubber um, bristle thing. If you don't like something like this, maybe it isn't for you, but I will say this is great. And I know that I've been going on and on about the Benefit uh, Bad Gal Bang Mascara, and a lot of you have told me that you wanted a cruelty-free option for that. And this is giving me somewhat the same effect, but maybe this is even more volumizing than the Benefit Bad Gal Bang, and the We Makeup is a cruelty-free brand. They are made in Italy. So that is actually a really, really nice option. Now let me tell you what eyeshadows I actually have on my eyes as well, because I did film a little look doing this, and I will probably put on the full look on my Instagram as a full tutorial uh, once I fix that. <laughs> okay, so what I have on my eyes is that I started out with number 117 and that is the first shadow that I used in my crease just to like get some mustard going and then I have 142 to just, that is that green matte you see in my crease to really deepen it up and to set set the tone <laughs> for the shimmery green that I have on my lid. I wanted to do something that was a bit smoky so I used 310 which is a shimmer shadow and I used that pretty much all over my lid and I just lightened up the inner corner and a bit just wrapped my inner corner with 309 which is a green like duochrome and you can see that it really did brighten up my inner corner and make it really nice and then I went in of course with mascara and everything so that is the look that I have on uh, my eyes today and I really do like this eye look and 
I mean, obviously I probably like normal, normal Angie would have put on some falsies, but I'm kind of happy that I didn't as well, just to show you that I really do like this mascara. I think it's a really, really nice one. Next, I want to talk about some brow products. I did also mention these as some favorites for last year, and this is the Their Brow Gel. This is a very special kind of an applicator. You open it up, it has like a little well that you dip, um, dip your applicator in. I have the applicator, that's from We Makeup, but obviously you can use whatever. It's just a very, fl I used this today. It's a really flat angle brush for your brows. It's a really nice brow brush if you were looking for it. And then it has a spoolie on the end. This is also the spoolie that I used when I did my brows. Just showing you a little quick, quickie quickie of how I did my brows. I also, of course, used the shade and tint, I think it's called, from MAC to uh, draw in some straws. And then I used the, the spoolie with some of the product in this because this is like a liquid brow pomade that has a bit of a waxy feeling so it does set your brows so i just used this to brush up my brows afterwards as well so you can paint in your brows with this and you can also brush them up afterwards and i think that it's a really really nice one i'm using the shade number one which is like a dark blonde it is a bit lighter than it is lighter than my brows but i really like a light brow and I also have shade number two for when I have this is probably more my shade right now when my hair isn't like that uh, light as it was before because when I got this and I did get this in PR I got the two lightest shade I had the almost platinum light blonde hair when I got this in PR so that's probably why I like this the most but I will say that I still like having a bit of a light brow it does come in more shades as well and this one really really it's on there all day. So I really like this product. It's been really nice for me. The next thing I want to talk about is the liquid lipsticks. And I have three liquid lipsticks in full size. They are called the Ever Liquid Lipsticks. And these are the last three that I got in PR. These dry down. I have three shades here. Uh, I have number 15, 45, and 16. Uh, these are matte. Like I said, these do not budge, but I don't think that these are super uncomfortable on the lips. They are not like super drying. They don't crack on me. They actually hold up really good on the lips. And I wanted to show you this because I know right now, let me show you. I have it here together with some of the slips from the eyeshadows. Right now, they are. these are out of stock. So this is usually like a holiday release. They are sold out right now, but they usually come out with all of their lipstick shades and they have like a hundred lipstick I'm not even kidding I think they have a hundred shades and they come up with them in midis like this you can either buy them in sets or like just as they are it's a perfect way to try a color that you might not have been wanting to try otherwise because they do have some more funky colors like this teal and since these dry down you can also use them as a liquid liner if you want to because they won't like smudge on your lash line and I really like these small ones they usually have them like a couple of times a year and they usually sell out really fast other than that this is the normal size too so these are a super matte dry down formula I don't think that they're super uncomfortable but if you don't like that formula that's totally dries down that isn't uh, the formula for you because these definitely do they're not that like comfort matte like the Ofra ones they're more like a super dry down like the dose of colors one but the latest release that we haven't talked about yet is the cream lipsticks and i'm wearing one of them on today i would say it's like a satin uh satin finish this one is in number two this is what this one looks like and I thought why don't we swatch all of these shades and we can see what we think. So this is number two and I will probably put this up on my Instagram as well. Just a quick uh, little swatch video if you want to see it again afterwards. They come in this plastic component uh, that's like see-through. And then when you roll them up you can see that it has the imprint on the bullet that says We Makeup. They smell very much like vanilla, like vanilla powder. Hello! They smell exactly... They smell so much like vanilla powder. They smell exactly like the Colourpop uh, lippy sticks. If you know how those smell, they smell a lot like vanilla powder as well. You know, the one you bake with. It's very comfortable. It went on really nice. This is the first time I'm trying them though. So this is just the first impression. But let's swatch all of them because I have... There are 14 shades and I have 12. Because apparently someone told me that two shades came out with the collab earlier that I didn't even know about. But they have 14 shades, but I have 12 of the ones that they did the release of right now. So let's, let's get through those. Oh my god, I totally forgot to talk about the lip pencils. Let's do that a bit. Like I saw them on the side. I was like, oh, forgot about you. This is the even lip pencils. And I forgot to say that as well, because the numbers that they have, like the even lip pencil, this is number 27, Malabar uh, Oxblood. They are meant to be matching. So 
27 in this one and 27 in any other color like for example this one is the 27 you see that it's meant to be the same color and the same with liquid lipsticks so if you like a color a lot in liquid lipsticks you can find the same color with the same like number in other formulas like the lip liner or the cream lipstick of course they have most shades in liquid lipsticks but I'm guessing that they are making some of the most popular shades from liquid lipsticks into cream lipsticks and lip pencils. These are not all the lip pencils. I have given some away because I don't need that many lip pencils, but I will say that these are a really, really nice formula and I have been using the one yeah, Hula High Umber, I think it's called. That one I've been using quite a lot. These are just lip pencils that you like sharpen, which is my favorite kind of lip pencils because usually those are more precise than the one that you screw up, like twist up, not screw up. In Sweden we would say screw up. And the ones that you twist up because they sometimes can be too emollient and I think that that can be really hard to draw a precise line, which is the whole point of a lip liner. So I really do enjoy these as well. Now let's get into the lipsticks. Oh my god, I am a mess. I'm a mess, I'm telling you. It's Sunday and all I wanted to do really was to just snack. But at the same time, I really want to film this. So that's what we're doing. I only have paper. I, I'm out of like, I usually use like makeup wipes when I'm doing lip swatches, but I'm out. So we're doing this. So I'm just gonna remove and just show you how they look on because they're probably, my lips are probably gonna be stained because I only have paper. So let's do this easy for me. Like I said, this is number two, the one I'm wearing right now. Let's put that to the side. And we're just gonna go from light to dark. I have, so number five is going to be next, I'm trying to put them, <laughs> oh my god, someone, someone's in I need an assistant, I'm telling you. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you how this one goes on, and then the other ones, I'm just going to show you how they look on the lips, because I think my lips are going to be super stained with time. So this is number five. Oh, so creamy. As you can see, they're super, super pigmented and very creamy. This is a stunning color. This is number five and it is so such a good color. It's like a mid-tone reddish brown and it is Oh, this is so pretty. This is the color I wish I would reach for every time I reach for a pale nude. I wish I would reach for something like this because this really fits my complexion. I love this. So this is number five. This is number six. This is more like a mauve, but it's very berry. So maybe it's more like a berry than a mauve. I would say that none of these are super light. Maybe number nine will be more of a nude, but this is also a bit of a slightly mauve but like more like a mid-tone berry maybe. Am I explaining this in a good way? I don't know but this is number six and I like this as well. It's very pretty, very pigmented and if you like something that's mid-tone but maybe more on the pinky berry side than the other brownish burnt reddish tone, maybe this is more for you. It's a really pretty shade. This isn't the best makeup application you're gonna see 2020 but <laughs> here we are. I think I'm good. This is number eight. This is a dark, bitter chocolate, but slightly more reddish warm tone thing. This isn't a true chocolate. It has a bit more red in it, but it is stunning. It goes so well with this look. Anything goes with a colorful eye. You don't have to use a light nude because you have a colorful eye. It's okay to have something like this as well. You're fine. It's okay. Don't listen to what people say. But it is a beautiful shade. It's very dark. It is very creamy, very beautiful. It went on really well. Personally prefer a brown that's a bit more cool tone. But I kind of like how this looks on as well. I don't hate it, but it, I think I prefer uh, the second shade most so far. Which one was that? That was number five. I think so far number five is my favorite. This is shade number nine. And this is my favorite shade in the liquid lipstick range actually. So this is number nine and I will say they are very similar. It's like a light cool toned taupe and it is beautiful. I am sure I will be using this so much. So this is a stunning color and if you want the same color but in the matte lipstick, nine, they are very similar indeed. Love this. This one and the second shade is, is my favorite so far but I already knew I'd love number nine because it's so so pretty. Okay, so this is shade number 12, and this is actually kind of light as well. It doesn't really want to this makeup look. It is like a mid-tone, kind of a warm pink. 
it's not the kind of shade that I go for, but I know that this is like the perfect shade for a lot of people. It looks pretty, but it's kind of thrown up by this makeup look, like this yellowy green and this warm pink. They're not living in symbiosis on my face, so I'm gonna take this off, but it went on as smoothly as the rest of them. It's just not really jiving with me right now. I'm not all about pink lips. I like brown lips <laughs> and orange. Where's the oranges? Maybe the next one is a bit orange. Huh. I am living the stained lip life. This is number 20. Hmm, it's like a mid-tone coral. It's, this is an orangey shade, but it does have a lot of pink in it. This is the, like, the shades like these are best for summer. Like, honestly, love shades like this for summer. I do love this shade, and it goes a bit better with this look than the other one did. This was number 20. Love this shade. This is a beautiful shade. I probably wouldn't wear this combo together, but I do love a shade like this. And this kind of a shade goes so well together with those like neutral palettes with the pop of blue. This on the lips, stunner. So this is this is the kind of summer shades that I reach for. We'll say I'm really a fan of this one. This is number 22. It's such a bright pinky raspberry. It's absolutely stunning. We'll say some of these darker shades I probably wouldn't wear without a lip liner because it's such a creamy emollient satin finish so I would recommend the lip liner but I will say it's it's so pretty I love shades like this this I need to wear more bright lip colors like this because as soon as I get them on I'm like mm, 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 love them I try to cover my staining with overlining and now I look like Miranda Sings so Please ignore that. This is number 27. This is a oxblood red. It's so overlined. Who can take me seriously right now? Not me. Anyways, this is number 27. It's a stunning, rich, mm, yummy red. It's just the application. The application. I've never wanted makeup remover wipes more in my life than I do right now. And what happened here? Okay. Things are falling apart. I'm falling apart. My life is falling apart. Okay, this was number 27. Send up. What? What is this? No! <laughs> I look like Bozo the Clown. Okay, I'm gonna go have to get some micellar water. Oh my god. I need a drink. Okay, this is number... 34. This is like a very purpley red. It's, it's not a red. It's a berry. It's a very purpley dark berry. It's super pigmented and it's kind of hard to get these shades on without a lip liner. Not gonna lie. This is application process is going downhills fast, but I do like the color. It's really pretty. It's not normally the kind of color I reach for, but if this is the kind of color you reach for, I don't know. I don't hate it together with this look, even though maybe it's a bit too pinky-ish for this look. But I do have two shades, oh, two shades left. One seems very brown and one seems red. So we're going in with 41. Okay. And getting this off. Oh, God. Okay, that's a very, very maroony color. I thought that this was going to be brown, but it's very reddish brown. This is such a 90s color. Oh. This is the kind of color that was like vampy and like edgy in the 90s. Such a nice, super, super dark, maroony, brownish red. It is very, like, the, I, I think a lot of people would say that this is a brown. I think a lot of people would say that this is a red. I would say that it is a very dark brown with a very heavy red undertone. It's very 90s. This is extremely 90s even. I remember people being on the hunt for a color like this in the 90s. This would have been a hit in the 90s. I really like the color now as well. Again, it's not the kind of color I usually reach for, but I kind of appreciate how it looks. This is such a bright fire engine red, and I overlined so much. Don't look. Okay, don't look. This was number 44. This is the last shade that I have. I hope they come up with more colors in this line. I love how these went on. So creamy, so emollient, and it has a nice sheen to it, and my cat wants to come in. Let's see if we can let her in. Sweetie! <laughs> this is the cat that wants to come in today. This is Kringla. I don't think she wants to be here. She's like, nope, nope, we're not doing that. Do you want to cuddle? 
with mom's red lip. Mm. She's like, no bitch. <laughs> That's my cutie kitty. She wanted to come in. But yeah, that's going to be everything for this video. Do let me know if you've tried anything for Wee Makeup. What do you think? I, oh my god, so many hairs everywhere. Personally, I am a big fan. And that's why I'm doing this video. I enjoy indie brands. I enjoy European indie brands. And I enjoy highlighting my hairs and lifting up indie brands that I feel are worth a bit more hype and I definitely feel like we makeup is worth a bit more hype so yeah I really like the eyeshadows I really like the eyebrow products the mascara the lip products and I really like these new lipsticks these are really nice I'm gonna be using them a bit more and I'll review them in an upcoming uh, ranking video but so far really nice oh my god I have cat hairs everywhere sweet you're a mess. I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see the swatches again or if you want to see the makeup look a bit more, a bit longer than what it was in this video, I'm going to have that up on my Instagram in a bit. So don't forget to follow me there as well. Let me know your thoughts down below and don't forget to check in tomorrow for another day of Indie Week. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!